Hello and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will look at the basic commands needed to connect to a NAS or network attached storage. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I can embrace the future. A network attached storage or NAS is a file level storage access device as opposed to a storage area network or SAN which provides block level storage access. In order to connect to a network share, you will need a few things. Number one, a network. Number two, network address for your server, your NAS server. Number three, the network address for your local computer. Number four, you need the type of file share, which is either the Windows or Unix protocol. And lastly, the name of the file share. To check your IP address, use the command ifconfig. We see that we have not been assigned an IP, so to set up a static IP address, we're going to use the ifconfig again. So we're going to do sudo ifconfig in the name of the interface, which is enp0s31f6. We're going to say up. Give it the IP of 169.254.220.18 and set the net mask as 255.255.255.0. Now let's go ahead and run ifconfig again to verify that we have set the IP correctly. And sure enough, we see that we now have an IP address. So let's go ahead and verify that we can see the server by using the ping command. So in this case, we know the server IP, so we're just going to ping it by doing ping 169.254.220.11. So one thing that we need to do is that we need to edit a configuration file to allow for the SMB1 protocol. The NAS that I'm using is a little bit dated, and so uh, we need to make that update. So we're going to go ahead and VI etsy slash samba slash smb.conf and then we're just going to go ahead and add the line client min protocol equals nt1 enter client max protocol equals smb3 this is going to allow us to use uh, the smb protocol now that we have established that the computer can see the NAS on the network, we need to find the names of the file share by asking the server. So the command we're going to use is SMB client because we know in this instance we are looking at using the SMB protocol or the Windows file share protocol. So we're going to do SMB client dash capital L to list out all the shares and then the IP address of the server which is 169.254.220.11 dash capital U and then space Hans to specify that user so the SMB client command is going to go out and pull that server and return with the names of the shared resources in this case we can see a shared printer two shared disks and the IPC service. All right, we're going to create a mount point because we need to mount the NAS somewhere. So we're going to do sudo makedir slash mnt slash smb. So now we can just go ahead and do sudo mount dash t c i f s, right? Because this is the Samba protocol for Windows dash o for options. We're going to specify RO for read only. We are going to give it username equals Hans, comma VERS equals 1.0. So that is the SMB protocol. And then space slash slash 169.254.220.11 slash Hans, because that is the name of the file share. And then lastly, the mount point to mount it to is slash mnt slash smb and when we hit enter it's going to ask us for the password once we've provided the proper password it will actually not give us any positive feedback 
So to get our own feedback, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the contents of the file share. So now if we cd into slash mnt slash smb, we're going to do a ls dash f. Take a look on the files in here. And then we are going to do a tree command just to take a look at all the subfolders. Now we can see that the mounted folder behaves just like any other folder. So we can extract the logical data if we are doing uh, forensics or just extracting the data. So I'm going to go ahead and use the tar command to archive the folder. I'm going to type tar dash c z v f and then create a file of vokesfree dot tar dot g z and then I want to put into the tarball the file of the folder of slash mnt slash smb slash vokesfree. So the options is dash c to create a tarball, z to compress, v for verbose, and f is going to be followed by the name of the tarball to create. And so once we are done with the tar, we've gotten everything we need. Always remember to do the unmount. So we're going to do sudo umount of slash mnt slash smb. So in the previous example, we mounted a SMB file share or a Windows style file share. In this example, we're going to connect to an NFS or the Unix style file share. So same, same thing, we're going to need to check on our IP address. So we're going to use the command ifconfig. So we see that we have an IP address assigned. The next thing is we need to find out the name of the file share. So in this case, because it's an NFS, we're going to use a different command. This time we're going to use show mount dash E for exporting a list. And then the name, uh, the IP of the machine, which is 169.254.51.230. So here we can see all of the file share names. So once again, uh, we're going to have to create a mount point, so sudo mkdir slash mnt slash smb. And then we can mount the file share now. This time we're going to do sudo mount dash t of nfs, right, that's the type, dash o for options, ro for read only. And then the ip of the file share, which is 169.254.51.230, colon, slash, slash, data, volume, slash, Hans, right, because that's the name of the file share we got from the show mount command. And lastly, the mount point, which is slash mnt slash smb. Now that the NAS is mounted, the mounted folder behaves just like any other folder, so we can extract the logical data. So similarly, we're going to do a tar dash c z v f n f s dot tar dot g z space slash m n t slash s m b slash vokes free. And if we are doing forensics, it is good practice to obtain the m d five sum because the tar file is now our uh, best evidence. So I'm going to do md5sum of nfs.tar.gz. I'm going to pipe that output to the t command with a dash a for append. And then we're going to give it a file name to append that md5 to. So it's going to be nfs.tar.gz.md5. So we see here that it's going to spit out the md5 of that tarball onto the screen and into that file we just specified. And as always, when you're finished, don't forget to unmount the volume using the umount command. So do sudo umount slash mnt slash smb. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video where we learned about connecting to a NAS, Network Attached Storage. We use the SMB client 
or show mount to view the file shares off that NAS. Then we use the mount command with the dash O option for SIFS with Windows Share or NFS with Unix Share. Once you have the file shares mounted, you can treat them like any other folder on your system. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.